Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Shridhar here as you all know me. In this video, I'm going to discuss about fu uh, some functions or functionalities which I feel that Google Forms should have by default. For example, uh, uh, you are not uh, allowed to change the formatting of the text of the font. The maximum that you can do is you are having certain uh, themes which are provided by Google four to five themes as you can see over here let me show you these are certain uh, themes options available to you these are the theme colors you can change the background uh, whatever but as you can see the font styling is very much limited you are having just these four basic type of font styles and apart from that it's uh, it, it's pretty much that's it it's not having any more options for you to play around with so in this video, I'm actually going to show you some of the uh, options using which you can play around with the font, the text, the look and feel of your forms so that it could be customized further according to your needs. This is something I feel that Google should look upon, look into because from the last three to four years, uh, they, ha they are constantly updating their entire interface, but still this particular one thing i feel is missing uh if it's provided by google by default as an official add-on or a plugin then that would be much better than relying on third-party applications so to start with in this video i'm going to show you three things first of all i will show you two different tools or two different ways by which we can uh, make our font bold or our text bold okay next up i will be discussing about a very important aspect for example nowadays as we have uh, started taking our tests, our exams online, uh, there are few uh, subjects, for example, mathematics, where a lot of equations are to be encountered, a lot of equations are to be uh, uh, input in our forms. In such a way, in such a situation, it is very difficult because, as you know, uh, if I have an equation of this format, if it looks like this, the readability suffers a lot. Whereas, as you can see, over here, the above equation is pretty much easier to read. It is a square plus b square equal to c square. But the equation below is somewhat trickier to read or somewhat difficult to read. So we need some sort of mechanism by which we can uh, make use of the mathematical equations and place it in Google form. Because as you see, let me copy this particular text and place it over here somewhere. Let me add a question over here. It looks something like this. It was intended to be a square plus b square equal to c square, but now it looks like a2 plus b2 equal to c2. So it uh, definitely beats the purpose of the question because it's meant to be a square, but now it is printed as a2. So that doesn't work over here, right? So we need some sort of plugin using which we can uh, insert the mathematical equations into our questions, into our options, so that the look and feel, the readability of the question improves. Finally, I would be discussing about uh, a way by which we can import our dull looking Google Forms into amazing looking uh, forms, uh, survey forms or you can say questionnaires with different backgrounds, different customization options available. So that actually adds uh, more value to your Google Form. The look and feel drastically improves. So that I have kept uh, for the last section. So I would be discussing these three things. In detail, I would be starting off with the mechanism by which we can make our text look bolder. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so as uh, discussed in the introduction, we are going to see few tools using which we can make our text look bolder. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to show you is a website which is called as lingojam.com bold text generator. It's a very simple looking interface. You simply need to copy your text over here in the left hand side and the resultant output will be shown on the right hand side. So what you can do is I'm simply writing something, for example, radius of earth. I want this text to look bolder. So what I should do is I simply need to copy this text, go to this website, paste it over here and the various options will be shown to you on the right hand side. So the radius of the earth if the same text is shown in a different fashion by using different family of fonts. For example, serif, sans, italics, etc. As you can see, there are various options for you to select from. 
and it's very simple very intuitive so what you can do is you can copy any other text for example let me copy this i'm just doing it for fun i'm just uh, checking how it looks on google form so this is how it looks if i preview it this is how it looks so as you can see we can't imagine google forms of this format right because we haven't seen google forms like this we are not used to looking at google forms like this right so what you can do is it's very simple you simply need to copy the text which you want to look different paste it over here and select whichever uh, font you would like copy it and paste it over here this is how it would look let me check it once again and as you can see this looks much much better than the pale looking fonts already provided by google right so i think this is uh, one of the things that google should look into in the future right so this is one of the very first technique using which you can uh, make individual pieces of text bolder so uh, the second tool which i am going to uh, discuss is uh, again doing the same thing but it is done with the help of an add on the add on is basically called as font upgrade so what you need to do is you simply need to go to the add ons page over here click on add ons and type in font okay once you type in font this is the very first uh, add on which will be displayed you need to simply install it in my case it's already installed so i don't need to do that after installing you will be able to see that particular add on over here uh, once refresh your page and then you will actually reset your add on it should be visible over here yeah now what you need to do is it's very simple this uh, particular add on works only for questions it doesn't work for the headers uh, for example the heading of the form it doesn't work for that uh, for the questions it works properly so let me write something now what exactly happens over here is if you are uh, relatively comfortable with the html language or if you are knowing certain basic tags of html for example this particular tag is called as bold b tag so b tag is basically used to make any text look bolder so what happens is i am just writing something over here and closing the b tag so it simply means whatever you write between the opening b tag and this particular closing b tag over here this is what we call as a, a closing b tag on the rightmost side whatever you write within these uh, b and closing b should be highlighted in bold okay so now after you have uh, written your text in bold just go to this add on once again click on font upgrade and click on this update fonts once you have done it it should look bold as you can see over here just preview the page and you will see that this previous font looks simple no, nothing add, added to it and the second font which you have written inside bold tags look bolder so this particular add on uh, works on two things bold and italics so let me uh, write something in italics over here it works in the same fashion i stands for italics or italics whatever you want to call it and similarly close the i tag once this is done again go back to add ons click on font upgrade click on update fonts and once it is done you can see this looks in an italics fashion so as you can see over here i have added uh, two things first one is bold and second one is italics fine so this was my first uh, section that is how to make text look bolder in google form so let's start mo moving ahead towards the next section in this section i'm going to show you how to add mathematical equations and all for this to work properly you need one more add on which is called as hypatia or hypatia whatever you want to call it you simply go to again your add ons uh, some your marketplace and type hypatia over there and whatever is the very very first add on you need to download that let me show you it is hypatia and whatever you get after the search results simply install that and you will uh, see it installed over here in your add-ons folder once it is done simply click on hypatia okay it should pop up but if it is not popping up properly if the uh, options are not visible then what you can do is simply restart the page reload the page once and now again try to click on hypatia and again if it's not working you need to repeat the entire process again and again sometimes it happens with the add-ons sometimes they don't load up easily and now you can see 
the add-ons when you have loaded up what you need to do is you can click on this edit math or insert section once you are inside this insert section i will show you how to add mathematical equations over there this is the interface very simple interface as you can see you can manually type something for example 2 raised to something 2 raised to 3 it will look something like this okay plus 3 raised to or uh, what you can say 3 sine 3 sine of x okay is equal to 20 for example this is uh, uh, an equation you are doing it manually you are typing each and everything manually i will show you two things first is manually and second one simply copying from any uh, text document okay so once this is done you simply need to click on create link okay now a link will be shown to you copy that link and go back suppose uh, i am inserting one question uh, question number one for example question one go to the options and now click on this add image go to by url and paste the uh, url that you have just now copied so as you can see you don't need to snip the images out of uh, the text boxes or any other uh, place where your equations are written generally what we do when if, wherever the equations are written we simply go to the snipping tool and copy it that is snip it go to your uh, folders save it and then we upload it on google form so it's a long process which we are making short of so similarly uh, as you can see this is one of the equations if i copy this equation and I again go back to my Hypatia folder, insert edit math. If I again paste whatever equation I have copied, as you can see in my root folder, in my root file, it was a raised to power 2, which was written like this. But when I have copied it into this particular add-on, it is giving it the proper format of how an equation must look like. Clear? Once this is done, again repeat the same process, create the link copy that particular image, go back to the option 2 and paste it over here by URL. This is actually doing our work shorter. It's uh, cutting down a lot of time. It's saving a lot of time where we uh, generally uh, sn use the snipping tool or any cropping tool, crop the image, save it on our hard disk and then upload it over here. Uh, what Otherwise, what, what we have done is we would have uh, done this sort of a thing, go to upload browse drive uh, upload the file for example this particular image and then it will take some time uploading and then it will be displayed so what we are doing is we are saving that much amount of time by simply using this tool this add-on i hope this was clear to you this is a very simple tool very simplistic sort of tool which you can use to add equations mathematical equations or formulas into your google form yeah the, the third section what we are going to discuss right now is the final section where we are actually uh, going to style our form so let me delete the excess things excess uh, sections which i have created over here okay so fine this is my form and suppose this is a feedback form and i want to present it in a more beautiful way in a, a attractive way so what i can do is simple uh, themes present in google form right now will not give that an attractive look to the form so what we can do is we can uh, install one add-on one third party application which is called as pick your form so again uh, go to the add-on section click on pick your form and the very first add-on which you will see over there is your add-on let me show you how it looks pick your form so this is how it looks i've already installed it so i will go back to my add-on section over here I'll click on this pick your form. So now from this menu, you can click on this pick your form button. And once you're done, it will give you a very simple sort of an interface where it will uh, tell you the uh, basic instructions that you must be following. For example, getting started in three steps. This is the main interface. What you need to do is you simply need to click on this enter pick your form. Okay. So once it loads up, you can see that already it has started to look attractive. The main uh, heading of your form is over here. You can choose from these seven themes available over here. 
obviously they are limited but still much better than what the stock google form provides us right select any one of that and what you can do is you can click on this customize button over here the customize button gives you uh, a lot of options for free okay so this is the title if you want to change the title or the si size of the title you can do it from here as you can see you can keep on fiddling you can keep on changing the various fonts available okay i like this the color i would like to keep it black only you can uh, give a tagline if you wish let's keep it simple okay course and feedback this is the introduction page similarly if i click on this start button this is my first question so now you can keep on changing the uh, templates for these uh, questions as well as answers so let me change the color of this question to somewhat something like this okay red i can change the size of that question also let's make it 40 yeah 40 is fine and let's change the font to uh, noto serif font style bold you can keep it italics i will keep it simple okay you can also do underlining so this is for the question same thing goes for the answer next up is progress bar as you can see at this particular bottom depending upon your questions and depending upon the sections present in your form it will keep on changing so if i press this it will be disappearing if i click this again it will appear similarly if i click the show pages the number of pages will be shown at the bottom it's very easy it's very easy to find on which page you're currently present and it will also tell you how many pages are left so that's a unique thing that's a beautiful thing i liked about this particular add-on over here next up is the button you can even style the buttons buttons uh, can be given colors out of here the various options available over here you can keep on changing color you can keep it like this somewhat like this okay whichever buttons are present on your page they will look somewhat like this colors which are actually present on the uh, foreground you can also change that okay, as you can see as i'm changing it the foreground color is changing right and once you're done it's uh, the final page that is left that is thank you page you can give a heading you can give a tagline to the thank you page i will show it to you what exactly is the thank you page and finally if you want to uh, uh, disable the logo that also that option is also available to you so a lot of thing is available lot of things are available to you for free so let me quickly uh, complete this form and i will show you what exactly is the answer page so as you can see the questions are appearing too large so just keep on playing around and you can change the question size from the size options available over here okay so are you able to understand whatever it is i'm giving a rating of five i'm moving ahead same way you can do with every answers available every questions available and at the end you will be presented with the thank you page okay so this is your thank you page and it will give you a button to submit once you submit your answers will be stored on your google form okay so let me save this file first what you need to do is you need to click on save you can pick your logo but as it is a trial version it is not allowing you to have your own logo so you can cancel that again go to save it is saved successfully what happens is when you click on save it asks you to enter your google id and once you enter your google id it gets saved on your google drive okay so how to share it it's very simple if you want to uh, display the form this is how it looks okay and if you want to share it with others you simply need to click on the share button copy this code and paste it or share it in your classroom or any other uh, place you want your link to be presented with right so again let me type something and let me fill this form for you for example Shridhar Iyer let me give my complete name over here let me select any date press enter and let me type in random values over here just to complete the form and to show you how it uh, is stored on my drive once you are done once you uh, click on the submit button your answers will be stored and that will be stored on your form so again let's go back to the uh, form over here this is your form and as you can see the responses earlier it were two responses now it is four because i have tried this form twice 
So uh, click on this Excel sheet and you will be able to see the submissions. As you can see, this is at 559 and that is what is the time right now. So it is the same form which I have filled right now and these are the answers which I have got. So this is how you can make a dull looking Google form completely different by simply making use of this uh, add-on. So I hope this video is useful enough and you will be using the techniques, tips and tricks as shown in this video for preparing questionnaires, forms, feedback forms and even question papers with the help of the various plugins and tools and add-ons I have shown to you. Thanks a lot. Stay connected. Stay tuned to my channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, kindly do so. Thanks a lot. Take care. Goodbye.